Okay. All right. Now it says it has 174 minutes. Well, well, well I'm going to edit out any mistakes or anything like that. Okay. See, now we are prepared. Okay. Right. I'm going to hand the, uh, the camera over to Gerard. And he is going to watch me step by step. Okay. Here's our first step and here's our alcohol swab. Okay, right, the alcohol swabs are important, right, because we're administrating antibiotics which are meant to fight infections. So it would be quite a folly on our part to defeat the purpose by contaminating his apparatus uh, while performing. Okay, now I'm, I'm unzipping an alcohol prep, all right. And this is to sterilize the point of where the first uh, syringe will, uh, first syringe which is filled with sterile water will flush out the vein and, and residue from the previous IV. Okay, see, so Gerard, focusing on on this apparatus here this this is our syringe the cap comes off quite easily all right and okay there's a tiny little bit of air in there so all we need to do is push up on the syringe until you get the air out and you, you know you have the air out when you get a drop of water too Oop, that's a little <laughs> bit too much water but okay we have the end sterile and now our, our injector device screws on about a screw and a half okay at this point okay with your two fingers and your thumb you not too fast not too slow see the speed I'm going all right just fast enough to flush out any remnants of debris that might be in the line from the previous treatment. Okay, at this point we unscrew. Okay. All right. This goes in the garbage. All right. Now, here's another important. Now here's the main step. Okay. Here we have a uh, uh, regular saline water. And inside this reservoir, you'll notice if I shake it, you notice there's a salt-like, or it looks like uh, sodium bicarbonate. That's the antibiotic. Now that has to be mixed uh, into the IV bag along with the saline water. And how do we do that? Is to simply notice this neck drawed. Can you see that on the uh, on the uh, on the screen? Yes. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to snap it like a, like almost like a, uh, a, a soda cracker or a twig. I'm going to break it. Okay. Well, not break it off, but literally I'm breaking the interior. So that will open the, the, the neck and I will squeeze the IV solution into this ancillary bottle that's containing the powder little by little until it fills up okay I'm going to show here's the part where the label is blocking the view and you see I'm squishing the sterile uh, the uh, the saline water into the bottle that contains the medication all right, and see how neat and easy this is? Okay, not hard squeezes or anything like that. The bottle will fill up quickly enough by itself. Okay, and once we're done shaking that, I mean, uh, filling that, okay, almost to the top. Okay, you want to leave a little air in there because we're going to shake it up now, like shake and bake. Okay, this way and that way until the medication which was once solid powder will become a semi-clear liquid 
and this will take maybe 20 30 seconds to assure that every last bit of that powdered medication has dissolved into the the saline water okay it looks like we're just about there to me always double check to make sure there's no like you know Alka-Seltzer pellets uh, dripping down on the bottom okay so we have a semi-clear liquid okay that's fine that's our medication in here so where does it go it's got to go back inside the bag and we do it we put it back inside the bag the same way we pushed it out of the bag by squeezing letting go squeezing and let it go and it is vacuuming the medication from out of the reservoir as you can see every squeeze I do a little bit less remains in the reservoir and is going into the IV pouch which we uh, we're going to hook up momentarily this is only going to take a a minute or two but this is how it's done all right we're almost there in fact we are there all right okay all right now we're okay we are ready to prepare the line we're gonna hang this up up on the on the uh, oops on the tripod here for the mo for the moment we're gonna bring this closer to my father all right we're gonna hang this up break that seal yeah uh, and aside, make sure your hands are clean. I used Purell and uh, uh, gloves if you have them. But remember, you're tearing open different objects, and so if you don't have finger fingernails, <laughs> okay, all right, okay. So that's prepared. Now we have okay the line that is going to extend. Okay, here it is in the package. I'm going to open it up now and show you how that's done. Slovenly, but it's open. This is the line. Okay, and I have something to show you on the line. Actually, a couple of things that are uh, important. This is not a complicated process, but it is a step by step process where uh, a few minor precautions need to be taken in terms of it being able to flow down. Notice uh, this blue clamp here. Okay, fortunately we have it in the open position. If we want it closed, we slide it in into the closed position but why bother doing that right now because we want it open that's the idea okay now in here this is where this is the entry point to the medicine bag right here it is capped for sterilization purposes okay I remove this okay this we discard and you'll notice that there's a sharp point to this little reservoir and we'll we'll delve into that in a, in, in a moment but uh, firstly we're gonna go to our IV okay we're gonna raise this up so we don't in fact here's a better idea take it off altogether hold it upside down okay remove our blue cap and in goes the needle all the way well it's not a needle but it's a port that that's that's sharp like a needle okay now we can hang this back up and we have no fear of it leaking out because 
there's a cap on here which we will sterilize in a moment before we infuse the patient okay all right now okay it's already starting to flow you know why I don't have it clamped there okay that'll stop that or there's this also this roller clamp okay you see that little little wheel there this either shuts it off completely uh, or it slows it down half halfway or it opens it up all the way okay right now we're gonna leave it in the open position should be in the middle of the line. All right. What am I missing? I think it should be in the middle of the line, I think. Oh. I think. Oh, oh, this, it, okay, for demonstration purposes, I'm showing this to you, you know, at eye level. But we do, we do want to bring it down. The, it doesn't really matter a lot okay. how far down. Thought I had it off. Okay. So a little bit of water on the floor isn't going to make a difference. But this. You can't do it okay. It's open. Yeah. Well, that's okay because we can always we can we can move. This is very mobile. This can be moved any part of the line. Yeah. Necessary, but that that's not the important thing at the moment right now okay next thing okay we discard this little blue thing that we just took off all right now we're back all right dad place your on, on the paper towel again all right we sterilize that one more time and next All right, this is shut off so we don't squirt that. <laughs> All right, this blue cap unscrews. All right, notice the bare little tip, which will in place be placed. Onto the pick. See, Dad is holding it. He's cooperating and and holding it properly. Okay. At this point, okay, we on. Okay, this clamp. It's open. It, it's, it's, op open. it's open. Yep, yeah, it's open. Yeah, it's open. It's open. Okay. We go back to our our little slot. Okay. All right. This will go probably. We want to when we when we pan the camera on the IV bag I'm going to show you why we're going to roll this down halfway all right draw it now show the camera on on this reservoir right here I think we okay. have to squeeze it okay so, right. so it's give, half full of liquid that's correct give it a little squeeze and and that will start that's right that's right okay all right and you'll notice it's getting fuller it, yes the gravity is is causing it to drip now we have to watch the rate of the drip we need one drip every two seconds one hippopotamus two, two hippopotamus, hippopotamus drip okay we're going a tiny bit too slow but we want to maintain the level of the medicine about halfway all right, so I'm going to open up just a tiny bit. Lay, lay your hand down. Lay your hand down. <clears throat> I know you're helping. Or however you're comfortable. Okay, so I'm going to speed it up a little bit. In fact, I'm going to... By using that little roller. Yeah, uh, by using the little roller. Now it's sped up a lot. See? Okay, now it's... If it's see? open... now so that's much. way too fast. Right. Okay, so I'm using the same little white roller that you saw me using the thumb to slow it down okay all right it's still going too fast okay so it's very precise one hippopotamus two the hippopotamus roller. one hippopotamus two hippopotamus <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah i think we have a 
We have it just about perfect. Yeah. I think. Yeah. All right, so that's pretty good for the first try. All right, and so now, okay, the medicine here, all mixed up with the antibiotic, is slowly infusing where Dad is holding the pick, which you don't need to do, really. I don't want to pull it out. Oh, no. That's not going to come out. That, that, <laughs> it, it, it shouldn't, if it didn't come out while you were sleeping overnight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to be extra careful not to yank it out, but if you want to, you may hold this in your fingers. Okay. All right. That's so much for the first two steps. Okay. Yeah, you notice a lot of of debris. Okay. Notice here we always have some Perel handy. You know, in case something, uh, you know, we touch something dirty, which we should avoid uh, at all turns. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna pause the camera because it's gonna it's gonna take. Okay, it's gonna take about a half an hour for our medicine to fully drain. There's no point in running the camera for a half an hour, you know. So, uh, part two will be coming up sh very shortly. It'll be on another link, uh, which y you will be emailed, and uh, f for your viewing uh, ex uh, Excitement. edification. <laughs> right. Okay, signing off for the moment. We'll be right back. Don't go away.